Okay, as always, pause the video, read the question, and if you get the same answer or the right answer, uh, brilliant. If you don't, maybe watch through some of the work. So yeah, first one, Tom thinks the answer to this is 8.7. Okay, so he thinks that this gives us 8.7. Is he correct? Okay, well this is just testing our knowledge of FODMAS, the order of operations. So up here we've got our brackets, we would always break out brackets if we had them. <coughs> Pardon me. This can be of or order. So like if you've got powers, you know, if you've got x cubed or a number squared cubed, whatever you could do the, the order in there, or if you've got the word of. Then you get your divide and multiply, add and subtract. Okay, so that's the order of operations. Bod mass, some people call it bid mass, bim dash, doesn't really matter because these can get done in any order as long as they're done together. So for example, if I've got three times four, you know, divided by three, doesn't really matter if I do three divided by three times four or do three divided by times four divided by three. If you do the multiplying divides together, that's okay. See my adds and subtracts, doesn't matter if I do two plus four take away two, I'm gonna get the same answer as two take away two plus four. Okay, so that's why you get different kind of terms for it. So you do these together, you do these together, but the overall order is brackets, then your powers, which are called orders, indexes, whatever, and then multiply and divides, add subtracts. So in this one, what we're gonna do first, take away, multiply the add. Yeah, we're gonna do the multiply. So the first thing I would do is say, right, I'm doing 4.6 multiplied by three. Now, to do that, I would do a little, um, you could do a chimney sum. If you wanted, you could do 46 times by three because we don't like to multiply decimals. We ignore the decimal. Okay, now if I ignore a decimal, three times six is 18. Three times four is 12. I get that. And then we add the decimal at the end. Okay, so this had one number after the decimal in the question. So my answer will have one number after the decimal in the question. So now I've got 27.2 take away 13.8 plus 4.7. So now I'm just adding and subtracting decimals. So for that, I'll just put a bracket around this. Okay, that gave me this bit in here. So I think for that, I would just do a big chimney sum. Okay, when you're doing your decimals, um, let's do, what did it take away first? Make sure your decimal lines up. So for adding subtracts, you absolutely want the decimal in there and you want it in a line. When you're multiplying, ignore the decimal, add it in at the end. As a little aside, 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.02. Okay, ignore the decimal, that gives you 4, so 2 times 2 is 4. And then you say, okay, how many numbers are after the decimal in the question? Well, 1, 2, 3. So I know my answer has to have 3 numbers after the decimal. Just as a way of sight. Anyway, first thing to do here, borrow. Okay, so 13.4. Um, and now that's us done this bit, so that's going to give me 13.4. And to that, I will add 4.7. And we should have that in our heads, where that would be 17, sorry, 18.1. 18.1. So, was he correct? Well, no, he wasn't correct. Um, so, as you know, use working, just, you know, working means basically do the sum. Um, so, no, he was incorrect because, you know, using board mass, I've calculated 18.1. But if you need to, basically, you need to show this working. You can just say, no, he's not right. You want to show, um, show that. Okay, very good. On to the next one. Have a little read of this. Okay, so how many Bolivian, I'm just going to say Bolivian money, how much Bolivian money will it get? Okay, he's changing £750. So up here, we know that £1 is nine Bolivian coins. Okay, so £1 is equal to nine. I'm just going to call them well, BBs or something. And I want to work out. 750. So, question mark. How do I get from 1 to 750? Well, I have to times them by 750, don't I? So, we're doing 750 times 9. So, for me, that's a little chimney sum. 750 times 9. Seven hundred sixty-three, sixty-seven. So, 6750. B, B. I actually probably could have written it in there actually. Okay, so quite a nice start, nice and straightforward. You just get your 
um, you know, your first line and then you're factorising, you're factoring it up, you know, what you would have to times this by and make sure it's the same on both sides, okay? He spends this amount and now he's going to change it into pesos. So what's he going to get back? Okay, so your first mark will be to say that he's got 6750 BBs and he's just spent 2700 of them. So there's a wee takeaway to be done there, isn't there? That's 5 takeaway 0 is 5, 7, 4. So he's got 4,050 left over. Yeah. So he's going to change that from Bolivian money to Argentinian money. So again, if 1 equals that and 1 equals that, these equal each other, don't they? These are all the same because these all equal 1. So what I'd be doing is saying that will 9 BBs equal 20 Argentinian pesos? Yeah, because 9 of these is £1, 20 of these is £1, so they have to equal each other. So that means that one Bolivian, <laughs> but I don't even know if that's true. Is that, is that the currency? I'm going to have to Google that. Um, Argentine peso. Yeah, to get rid of the nine here, I've divided this by nine. So if I divide this side by nine, I have to divide this side by nine. Okay. Fantastic. And now I'm saying I don't want one of those. I've got 4,050. So if I've got 4,050 of these things, I've had the times by 4,000. Sorry, 4,500. Sorry, 4,050, yeah. Mm -hmm. there you go. So I have to do the same on this side. So all I'm doing is 4,500, sorry, 4,050 times by 20 divided by 9. It doesn't really matter what order you do, and you could do the divide by 9 first if you want. I don't know if how that, yeah, it doesn't really matter in this question, but sometimes, you know, if that was a a nice number, I'd divide by that first, it doesn't really matter, anyway. times by 20 is nice and easy, isn't it, we just add a zero on the end, so that's 4050, that's times in by 10, and then it's half to times by 2, so times in that by 2 is going to give me, I'll just show you a little chimney sum, 2 zeros, 2 fives, 4 or 10, 2 zero, zero, 1, and eight, yeah, 81,000. Okay, so then I've got 81,000 divided by nine. So there's 81,000. I'm going to divide that by nine. So times it by nine, which is the same as dividing by nine. So 81 divided by nine is just nine. And then three zeros. Now, I did that kind of in my head, but you could do it with a little chimney sum. Yeah, carry the eight, nine, one, two. Okay, so I think for this one, for me, the hardest bit would maybe working using that as your ratio to begin with. And, and that's the most important line. If you get this bit right, you should be okay. You know, don't stress about, am I dividing, am I multiplying? You know, just, just write this line down and then say, okay, well, how do I get it from 9 to 1? Got to divide. Okay, some people are really good and just, just know off the top of their head, you know. But I always have to have that little line just to get it straight in my head, what's, what's happening. So in this case, we're doing times them by 20 and divide them by 9. So, and just some very basic numeracy on the side. But it looks complicated to start with, but just break it down. 20 is the same as times them by 2 and times them by 10. And times them by 9 just means divide them by 9. Nothing we've not, not done. Yeah. Good stuff. And we'll try. Well, I'll get this in the next one. I'll get this in the next one.